some conversations. Yeah. So you know, hey, look, today's a totally different day, right? I mean, we'll put that put that behind us, and uh, let's go one and zero today, and, and try to leave here with a victory. Is it just a day off for Joey, or is this another calculated kind of decision? Oh yeah, just a day off for Joey. I mean, he's he's been our everyday DA, so I want to give him a little day. Um, if we get you know we get in late tonight. I want you know get him fresh. Um, but he's available pinch hit today, so uh, you know. But I want to get him off his feet a little bit. You, you've talked about the challenge for him being an everyday DH for the first time. How have you seen him adapt to that? Do you see him getting better at understanding how to keep himself engaged when he's not in the field? Yeah, he's definitely getting better. He's st starting to understand how, how, what he needs to do in between innings, how he wants to approach things. Um, you know, I've seen a, a big difference from when we, when we started the season as a DH. And I don't know what to do. He seems a lot more calmer um, in, the, uh, in the dugout in between and not all over the map. He watches video. He watches the guys he's going to face. Um, and he's it's good at bat, so you know it's nice to see him make adjustments and, and try to get better at it. Um, last night, CJ being able to you know cleanly field that play. What kind of growth have you seen from him in these like high pressure situations? Yeah, he's been he's 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 been getting better each and every day. I mean, he he takes ground balls. He works hard. Um, he wants to get better. And um, y yesterday, in a, in a moment like that, you know, his one one job was to ca catch the ball cleanly, get rid of it cleanly, and uh, he threw a strike to to Caber, and that's that's you young kid in a big moment like that um he started he started what potentially would have been a big play for us um it didn't i don't know if it mattered in the end or not but in that inning there was another uncontested stolen base uh, i know this has been something that's happened on occasion now for you guys you mention all the time about we got to fix this we got to fix this how do you fix something like that yeah it, it, and it definitely matters like i said in a, in a situation like that we're up one run late innings uh, we got to keep the guy. We got to keep the guy on on uh, on the base, on first base or second base, whatever it may be. Um, and look, it's just it's not. I don't like messing with those back end of the bullpen guys because they got such a routine. But it's all about the holes, you know. And, and if he could hold for three seconds, he could hold for five seconds. He could hold for 12 seconds now until the clock runs down. Um, but he's got. We got to learn how to mix in mix in holes. And and every now and then, if you if you just once or twice, just with a little quicker. It'll sh it'll shut that down. You just can't get get in the repetition to do the same thing over and over again. You know you got to kind of mix and match. And like I said, hold for two seconds, hold for five seconds, bump and go. You know uh, stuff of that nature. And that's something that we can control and we can do. How do you get that message across? I, obviously, you have mentioned yeah. it to them, but how do you get it to really sink in? It's about working at it, which they do. In the bullpen. You know, I think what ends up happening in a situation, high leverage situations, they're so geared on t attacking the hitter, and and the, the in that moment. My big thing is, is for them to attack the hitter. You know, they'll focus on the hitter because all of a sudden you, I've seen it so many times where you worry about the base runner and you throw a pitch, you know, where you don't want to throw him. And next thing you know, we're down two runs, you know, one run. So um, I want him to really focus on the hitter. And like I said, don't change anything with your mechanics, but just, just vary your times, you know, vary your, vary your looks um, and use, use the clock, you know, use the clock as, as long as you can. Just hold the ball and, and uh, do different things. Yeah, you you got to have a plan. You got to have a plan when you go up there, and I think that's the biggest thing. You know, just just don't go up there and, and free free swing. You got to go on third base, less than two outs, look to see where the, the infield's playing. Um, if they're playing in, you know, the, your job is to you know get get hit a fly ball, you know, and and just driving the run. Um, know what the pitcher's going to do. You know, I mean, look, you know, under, understand what what, what the pitcher's going to do to you. We know that Presley throws a lot of breaking balls, especially lefties. Look, you know, you might have to look for a breaking ball in that situation, you know. So, but you know, the the biggest thing is to try to try to get the ball in the air just to get you know get the run in or stay in the middle of the field. You mentioned wanting to get Joey rest with tonight being a night game and then heading back home. At this point, with your schedule, with the travel, and then with the makeup game, what do you have to be mindful of with this stretch coming up? You know, I mean, I, I'm looking at everything with all these guys right now because we go home. Um, you know, we get we're gonna get home late. We got a night game tomorrow. We got a day game the next day. Day game the next day. Day game the next day. Um, so it's gonna take us a little bit. So I'm gonna try to figure out how to get uh, some of these guys, you know, days off this weekend, um, and keep these guys strong. I mean, we still got a long way to go. You know, we gotta understand that a lot of our a lot of our kids, you know, uh, CJ for example. You know, he's played I don't know how many games, but he hasn't played a full season really yet. You know, so we gotta we gotta be mindful of that. Uh, Louis, we got to be a mi mindful of that, you know. So uh, we're going to try to, you know, kind of figure out when we give these guys days off. You talk about that a lot with young pitchers, like with <coughs> right, getting him rest, but with younger position players, what are the things you have to keep in mind? 
Yeah, just their physique. They're, you know, they're, they're just trying to watch. You know what they're doing. You know, we got we got all this information that I get from the trainers and our um, our medical staff on what they're doing, and we could break down their body a little bit. Um, and if he's lagging on something, that you know that that's an indication that he might be getting a little tired. So we'll give him a day and get him back where he needs to be.